Now, remember from our VC that we learned that when you're solving a system of equations, it's a situation where if you were to graph the lines, you would see that you have two lines that intersect and our solution is going to be written as an ordered pair. So, so far, I know the value of X in my ordered pair, but how do I find my value of Y in my ordered pair? Well, you simply take this solution right here and you plug it back into either of your equations. Now I usually just start with the first one and then I check that it still works with the second equation because remember that point has to lie on both lines. So that means it has to satisfy both of our equations. So I'm going to write down, rewrite the first equation, 7x plus y equals 13. And now I'm going to plug in that solution that I got using my method of elimination going through. And I'm actually on, let's see, I've already done step five, solving, you know, getting one value in the solution and place it in the ordered pair, which I've done up here. And now step six says substitute this value into the one of the equations to find the other value in the ordered pair. So that's what I'm doing right now. Seven times three plus y equals 13. Seven times three is equal to 21 plus y equals 13. And if I subtract, sorry, I'm kind of going slow with my pencil here, minus 21 from both sides to maintain your equality. And I end up getting, love the canceling part. Blow those suckers up. Y equals 13 minus 21 is the same as minus 21 plus 13, which equals a negative eight right there. So that's my Y value. So now I can put that in over here. So remember my X value was three, making my Y value equals negative eight. You practice substituting terms into equations in your Desmos activity in this module during VC. And now um, it's always good to check your solution in the other equation, because remember, it means if these two uh, lines intersect at one point, that means this solution, which in this case is the three and negative eight, it lies on both lines. So that means it has to satisfy both equations when you plug in those values. So let's check it here in the four X minus Y equals 20. And since I'm running out of room, I'm just gonna kind of do this off to the side here. So I'm going to see if four times three, because that's what I got for X, minus, now this is the part I know that throws a lot of people when you have a minus minus. So I make sure I put that Y value in parentheses. Okay, so is four times three minus a minus eight equal to 20? Like the equation says. Well, let's see, four times three is 12. Minus a minus eight is the same as plus eight. And sure enough, 12 plus eight equals 20. So that is a good way to check your ordered pair when you finish this six, six step process of elimination. Okay, again, going back to your sheet of paper where you are completing this problem on your own, I want you to resume after the step where you found the value x equals 3. Again, fold your note paper over so that you don't see the steps that I've already demonstrated. And you see if you can plug in the value x equals 3 to the first equation, solve for y, 
and then check that value, your ordered pair for x and y, by plugging those values into the second equation, 4x minus y equals 20, and see if you are able to get the correct solutions. Then check with the PDF solution page by unfolding it again.